adoption of these recommendations by our schools will ensure the beginning of a sound basic program of physical development, exercise, and achievement. I want to urge that uh, this be a matter of great priority. A, a sound mind and a sound body is the, one of the oldest slogans of the Western world. I am hopeful that uh, we will place uh, a proper weight on intellectual achievement. But in my judgment, for the long-range happiness and well-being of all of you, for the uh, strengthening of our country, for a more active and vigorous life, that all of you as individuals and as groups will participate in strengthening the physical well-being of young American boys and girls. This is a matter of importance, and I'm hopeful that we can move ahead in the coming months. Thank you very much. Lately, we have heard a great deal about physical fitness. Mr. Wilson is here to demonstrate some exercises for us and to discuss physical fitness with us. But before Mr. Wilson does begin, I would like to ask all of you a very important question. What does physical fitness mean to you? Raymond? It's how well we play ball. Steve? It's how strong our muscles are. Joan? It's the kind of food we eat and the amount of sleep we get. Janice? I think it's the condition of our body. Well, it all has something to do with sunshine, fresh air, and cleanliness. Yes, it has something to do with all of these things. Now let's discuss the human body. How does it work? Kathy? Our brain. Francis? Our muscles help our body work. But our brain makes our muscles work. Do we exercise our brain? Yes. How? By using it. When we study, we exercise it. So we can say that the more we use our brain, the more exercise it gets, and the better our brain works for us. Now, what about the body? By exercising it, we can use it too. Why is it important to exercise our body? Don? Our body is like a machine. If we don't use it, it gets rusty. Just like my motor I made here. If it isn't used, it will get rusty. You mean that if we don't use our body, it becomes rusty? Teddy? Sort of. Our joints get stiff and our muscles get weak and we can't do anything. So then we can say that physical exercise is as important for our bodies as mental exercise is for our minds. Now, what does exercise do for us? Mike? It makes our muscles strong. Lola? It makes us look better. Helps keep us from getting flabby. <laughs> <laughs> Janice? We feel better, too. That's very true. If we are physically fit, we will resist disease and infection. Periodical medical checkups are very important, however. Now, why is it important that we as a nation become physically fit? Mike? It will make us strong. How? Nancy? If we're healthy and strong, wouldn't our nation be strong? Of course. You are the future of America, and if you are healthy and strong, your nation will be. Now I would like to introduce Mr. Wilson, who will speak to us about physical fitness. Thank you. Through a series of regular exercises, the strength and endurance of the muscles of the body can be increased. Some muscles of the body work independently. They do most of the body's housekeeping, help with respiration, push food through the intestines, and generally maintain the body's functions. The heart is a unique muscle that operates automatically and delivers fresh blood to all parts of the body. It operates continuously throughout the life of a person. Good physical fitness contributes to keeping the heart healthy. Some muscles have the ability to contract on signals stimulated in the brain. They usually work in pairs, such as this model you have here. One muscle pulls and the other stretches, and the result is the movement of the limbs to which the muscles are attached. The more most muscles are used, the bigger they grow and the stronger they become. By exercising the muscles of the arm, we do not increase the strength of the muscles of the leg. That is why a well-rounded program of physical fitness is vital. In the film we're about to see, we'll see a sample of the type of exercise that can improve your muscular strength, endurance, and physical skills. 
Would you roll the projector, please? All athletes must keep physically fit. Muscles are strengthened through exercise. Different exercises develop different muscles. One of the best exercises to develop arms and shoulders is pull-ups. First, you grip the bar with either the overhand or reverse grip. With a reverse grip, you place the fingers over the bar, thumbs around the bar with the palms toward you. With the overhand grip, you hold the bar in the same manner, but with the backs of the hands toward you. Now pull the body up, flexing the elbows, until your chin is level with, but not over the bar. Then lower the body slowly to hang position. Repeat exercise without body swing. Shoulder and arm muscles are very important in almost every sport. Another good exercise for shoulders and arms is push-ups. Lie down, facing the floor with hands under your shoulders, palms flat on the floor. Now straighten your arms, keeping your back straight and touching the floor with just your hands and toes. Your chest must touch the floor in each cycle after your arms have been fully extended. For girls, the exercise is the same, except that you push up from the knees, not from the toes. Strong, well-conditioned stomach or abdominal muscles are not only important in athletics, but help to keep a trim, youthful figure. And sit-ups is one of the best exercises for strengthening abdominal muscles. Lie with your back on the floor, legs drawn up, feet flat on the floor in a hook-lying position, with fingers clasped behind neck and elbows on mat. Hook feet under support if necessary. Curl up, touch both elbows to thighs at the same time, and return to starting position with elbows on floor. Good back and leg muscles are as important in everyday life as they are in athletics. The chest and leg raising exercise is excellent for back and leg muscles. Lie face down, legs straightened together, with palms placed under your thighs. Now raise your head, shoulders, and both legs simultaneously as high as you can. Endurance is often the deciding factor in sports, as it is in life. The four exercises we have seen develop various muscles of the body. Jumping rope, walking briskly, running or jogging in place will increase your endurance. Run in place, raising knees high with each step. In rope jumping, you should land on the balls of your feet with your body straight, head up, and eyes forward using a steady rhythm. A program of physical fitness takes only a few minutes each day. It will make you feel better, increase your proficiency in sports and recreational activities, and help you live a happy, productive life. Now that we have seen a sample of the type of exercises that contribute to the development of physical fitness, it should be remembered that the exercises must be done with purposeful vigor in order to achieve maximum benefit. Uh, your teacher can be of great help in explaining in detail the type and amount of exercises you should use in your personal physical fitness program. And remember, the exercises take only a few minutes each day. Thank you so much, Mr. Wilson. We yeah. enjoyed your visit. Thank you.